I'm broke, but I'm happy. I'm poor, but I'm kind. I'm short, but I'm healthy. Yeah. I'm high, but I'm grounded. I'm sane, but I'm overwhelmed. I'm lost, but I'm hopeful, baby. What it all comes down to that I think gonna be fine, fine, fine. Is I got one in, in my pocket, the other one is giving a high five. And what it all comes down to, my friends, yeah, the thing's gonna be bye bye bye. So I got one in, in my pocket, the other one is hailing a taxi cab. Does anybody actually call taxi cabs anymore? I think it's just Uber and Lyft, right? Hey guys, welcome to my first vlog. I decided to make a vlog because before the pandemic, I went through so much. Um, and I was a street performer. I street performed full time in Los Angeles. I started out in Burbank and I went to City Walk. I did Santa Monica a little bit. And then one time um, when I was filming for a TV show, I did Venice, um, good times. But um, yeah, so um, I really do miss performing out on the street. It's really bizarre having to stay in my apartment all the time. By the way, welcome, welcome to my apartment, um, to my couch. And um, yeah, so uh, I, I figure, you know, since we can't have that experience right now live, I wanted to keep connecting with you at least online. So here I am. So the reason why I'm calling it Covers Off The Street is because every episode I'm going to sing a little bit of a different cover that I have sang street performing before. My Patreon VIP members helped me choose this one, which is a really good one. And I can relate to it a lot right now because I feel like everybody really feels like a work in progress, especially right now with everything going on in the world. And as a street performer, we're just, we're seen differently depending on who's passing by. I come from the East Coast where I didn't really know whether to have a good or bad feeling about a street performer. I, I was taught not to tip them when I was on the streets in New York. When my family would go out with me, we'd pass them by and I'd be like, oh, they sound great. And they're like, no, no, we don't give them the money. And I was just like, why? They're kicking ass out there. So yeah, so when I moved to LA, um, I got into street performing in 2016. It will be actually be five years um, as of, I believe, end of January, maybe early February of 2021. Um, it doesn't really feel like it's been that long, but I have been through a lot, like I mentioned. First time I went street performing, I was uh, even hesitant about going because I just, I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know if people would throw things at me or call the cops or I'd get arrested or something like that. I had just gotten, gotten back into music. I wasn't even doing it full time. And my boyfriend, who is a producer, uh, was saying, you know, I think you would make a really good street performer. And I said, like, really? Like, are you? serious <laughs> so he's like yeah like just try it you know uh, I'll lend you a microphone so I remember he lent me a microphone and a stand my friend Annie gave me her amp to borrow and they they all showed up and I gave like this little concert I knew like seven songs maybe and um, and my and I played my original song fear which I know a lot of you have heard which by the way my music is like everywhere so like Apple Spotify I think uh, Amazon Google Play wherever there's music popular platforms, promise them there, Pandora, everything. So uh, Annie gave me her amp and they were all there and they were all like really supportive and I was really nervous because I just didn't know what to expect. And I remember it was like 50 degrees out in Burbank and I was just playing and I was so nervous. I was so nervous and I was so pretty fresh at doing this whole music thing. I just, I couldn't stop staring at my guitar playing. Like it was kind of like my same space. Uh, if you're a musician, you could totally, totally relate to that. So, um, so I was playing and uh, I remember this one guy came by and he dropped in like 50 cents and then someone dropped in a dollar and I made like a dollar fifty. I played for maybe an hour and I was just like, 
was like, wow, like nobody actually threw anything at me. Nobody called the cops. Nobody tried to punch me or steal my gear. Yeah, my friends were there, but nobody complained. And on top of that, what, what was really the big thing was people who were going by, who weren't expecting music to be there, who were planning to go to the mall or go to dinner, came by and gave me a tip. And it wasn't about the money, it was about the fact that I was able to impact them and be of service in a way that made them really have a better day, I guess, and um, made them basically give me a tip and show their appreciation. And I thought that was really special and unique. And so from there, I was like, wow, this is really amazing. I wonder what else I could do with this. So at the time, I had two other jobs plus street performing now and I remember I was serving literally down the block and my coworkers were like oh so you're one of those now because street performers were really making um, in a, uh, their own existence and their own spot um, in Burbank downtown Burbank and and I was like yeah I guess I am <laughs> so um, so yeah so I slowly worked myself out of a, uh, a serving job I quit and after that uh, as I got more comfortable doing it, I just kind of felt like, you know, I really want to, I really want to do this full time, uh, and I want to, I really want to do the music thing. But street performer seems to be really working for me right now, so I think I, I'm going to do that. So, so I quit that, and then a couple months later or so, I quit the dog daycare job that I had, and that was hard because I really love animals, and the dogs are really fun to hang out with, and I still miss some of them. And, and some of my coworkers were really difficult too. But I knew it was just time to do the music thing. So I slowly built my way up to playing like four to five days a week. And then um, what's so weird is like, at first you're, you, you feel like you're just like giving your soul and nobody's listening. And it still feels like that a lot of the time. It takes a while. You have to learn about like, who are they? And what music are they into? And oh, his shoes are Converse. Maybe he'd be into the Foo Fighters. Things like that you pick up on as a street performer. And as you also get better at playing live and, and showing your motion and basically giving your soul to the air, you get better and you start to make more money, but it's not just about the money. You start to make stronger connections with people and people start inviting you to play at a party or um, maybe they'll invite you to an event or they'll want to write with you. And especially in Hollywood, I get a lot I've gotten a lot of weirdos or just a lot of people who will be like hey I'm gonna contact you and then they like take my card and then it, it like never happens and it's just such a Hollywood thing that people don't see and so I, I wanted to really just share these experiences with you and um, so yeah so that's kind of the gist of how I got started in street performing next week I'm gonna be diving into some of the weirdest experiences I've had street performing and some of the coolest experiences I've had and why I did it for so long up until right before the pandemic. Pepper, you wanna come say hi? Come here. My cat, I was gonna see if she wanted to say hi to, get, hi to you guys, but um, she's not feeling it, she'd rather take a nap, so. Alrighty guys, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in for my first episode. Don't forget to list your favorite song of the cover choices, the three covers, and comment it. The one with the most comments will win for next week. And don't forget to support me on Patreon. You can find my original music wherever you like to listen to your music. And I'll see you guys later. And what it all comes down to Is that no one's got it really figured out just yet Is I got one in, in my pocket The other one is playing a piano Okay, so clearly I'm playing guitar But it's not my lyrics, so I'll see you guys later
Thanks for watching. Please consider supporting Sarah Lightman on Patreon.